Here we are folks with another eBay find. Uh, this is a uh, rather old but good the Hornby Class 37. This is one of the very early made in China editions. It's got the basic roof details on it. Uh, this one however has got, oh well it's had a few upgrades done to it. Namely It's got sound. Now, this this has been causing me problems all day. I've not been able to figure out what was wrong with it because it the sound would stop and start, stop and start, not work. Sometimes the local would stop and start. Not work, really erratic, erratic running and I couldn't figure it out. I've been all over the internet, all over the all over the place trying to find a solution for it and CV settings and resetting the decor and this and that and the other. And last night my gin tea that I got on eBay uh, blew a a decoder, which is fantastic. The DCC Concepts decoders which I've constantly tried to fix in various locals have all blown and I've told people what my setup was and no one's ever been able to figure it out and I've just had all these, these issues with, with DCC and, and the running and whatever and as you can see now touch wood No issues at all. It, it works absolutely fine. It was um, it was just playing the horn non-stop before and everything else, and, and that's what's insane about it. It's, it's that, and I've had a few issues with other locomotives and what have you. And I had I had very recently an old Hornby One Five Six which I chipped. And it blew up the, the, the corner straight away and I just couldn't figure it out whatsoever. Today, I think I finally figured out what was the issue, at least with this thing not playing sound properly. So if, like me, you're fairly new to DCC, and I've been doing this for about a year now, and you're using a standard Hornby track connector to connect your power feeds to the track, uh, it, it will work for the most part. Now, I just happened to come across a post on the Hornby forum about from this chap that said that you need to use a special DCC track clip connector, and I'm thinking, well, why wouldn't it be special? This is the standard one, and as you can see there, you've got a capacitor. Now, Strangely enough, I've just ripped this thing off and I've wired the decode and the controller straight to the track and that has gotten rid of, or seems to have gotten rid of, all the issues I've been having. Including ones where the locomotive wouldn't respond to commands unless there was another locomotive on the track or whatever. And that makes sense because I suppose it, it, it would be draining the capacitor or whatever, I don't know, but it makes sense. So, yeah. So if anyone out there is, have, is having issues, seemingly unex inexplicable issues with DCC and things just not running quite right, despite having turned DC running off and adjusted CV29 and etc, 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 just check how you've actually got your power going to the track because in, in a year, of ha if that's over a year, of having a DCC system, not once did anyone tell me not to use the st the bog standard home the track connector for connecting the the power to the track not once so there we go every day is a school day guys <laughs>